and Sabanur, also known as Apocalypse, a powerful mutant believed to be the first of his kind, rules ancient Egypt until he is betrayed by his worshippers who entomb him alive. His four lieutenants die preserving him. Awakening in 1983, he believes humanity has lost its way without his presence. Aiming to destroy and remake the world, he recruits pickpocket Ororo Monroe, who can control the weather, and upgrades her power. In East Berlin, shape-shifting mutant Raven investigates an underground fight club and discovers mutant champion Angel, who possesses large feathered wings on his back, and Kurt Wagner, who can teleport. Raven rescues Kurt and requests black marketeer Caliban to transport him to America. Apocalypse recruits Caliban's enforcer Psylocke, who leads him to Angel. Apocalypse enhances both of their powers, transforming Angel's wings into metal. Alex Summers discovers that his younger brother Scott is manifesting a mutation for shooting optic beams. Alex takes Scott to Professor Charles Xavier's Educational Institute in Westchester County, New York, hoping that Xavier and Hank McCoy will teach him to control his abilities. Scott meets the telepathic and telekinetic Jean Grey, and the two develop an attraction. Raven brings Kurt to the Institute. Apocalypse's powers cause disturbances around the world, leading Xavier and Alex to consult with CIA agent Mora McTaggart, who has been researching the legend of Apocalypse. In communist Poland, the metal-controlling mutant Eric Lenscher lives with his wife and their young daughter Nina. When Apocalypse's resurrection causes a worldwide earthquake, he uses his powers to save a co-worker, prompting the militia to capture him. When they accidentally kill Eric's family, he retaliates by executing them. Apocalypse later approaches the devastated Eric and takes him to Auschwitz, where Eric's power first manifested. Persuaded by Apocalypse's philosophy, Eric's powers are enhanced and he destroys the camp, joining Apocalypse. Apocalypse remotely accesses Cerebro, a brainwave amplifying device Xavier uses to locate mutants and forces the telepathic Xavier to make the global superpowers launch their entire nuclear arsenals into space to prevent interference with Apocalypse's plan. He and his new four horsemen arrive at the mansion and kidnap Xavier. Attempting to stop them, Alex accidentally causes an explosion that destroys the mansion. Peter Maximoff, having realized that he is Eric's biological son and hoping that Xavier can help to find him, arrives just in time. He uses his super speed to evacuate the students and teachers before the explosion destroys the building, but fails to save Alex, who dies in the process. Colonel William Stryker's forces subsequently capture Hank, Raven, Peter, and Mora, and take them to a military facility for interrogation. Scott, Jean, and Kurt follow covertly, and liberate their comrades using Stryker's mind-controlled and brainwashed experiment, Weapon X, whose memories Jean partially restores. At Apocalypse's behest, Eric uses his powers to control the Earth's magnetic poles, causing destruction across the planet. Apocalypse plans to transfer his consciousness into Xavier's body, and use Xavier's power to enslave every person on Earth. Xavier secretly sends a telepathic distress call to Jean, and the others travel to Cairo to battle Apocalypse and his horsemen. They rescue Xavier, but he loses his hair as the process nears completion. Angel is defeated, and Eric and Aurora are persuaded to turn on Apocalypse, and, with the help of Scott, they keep him occupied physically while Xavier fights him telepathically in the astral plane. Finally, Xavier encourages Jean to unleash the full extent of her powers, incinerating Apocalypse, killing him for good, while Psylocke escapes. Xavier and Mora rekindle their relationship. Eric and Jean help reconstruct the school, but Eric refuses Xavier's offer to stay and help teach. Peter decides not to tell Eric yet that he is Eric's son. Using confiscated sentinels, Hank and Raven train new X-Men recruits, Scott, Jean, Aurora, Kurt, and Peter. In a post credit scene, Men in black suits visit the Weapon X facility to retrieve data on Stryker's mutant research, including an X-ray and a blood sample marked Weapon X on behalf of the SX Corporation. 